That moves us into Aziz Ujolari. Uh, this guy is projected, uh, you know, first round. Says Ujolari flat out knows how to get to the quarterback. He's one of the most advanced pass rushers in the class. To me, like, I already like that. Yeah. Doesn't mm-hmm. require a ton of coaching. Yep. No, you're absolutely right. I mean, I'm just going through his grades here. I mean, 18 was a 60.1. Then he bumped up the year later to 78. And then this past year, he got graded out at a 90. Now, I could, I could be wrong, but he played linebacker for Georgia, correct? And they're talking about he's going to have to be – I don't think there's a lot of development, but I've seen that that would be the transition for him, to be an edge. That's true. I guess this is pass rusher, so I right. – Yeah. But yeah. I did see that he said, hey – It'd be sick to play with Miles Garrett. Now, like, I don't know if you're just throwing that out there because I'm pretty sure that would be a nice lineup on the other side of a guy like Miles Garrett. Right. But yeah, I don't said, know. If, they said he's a true bend the edge speed rusher, has yeah. the kind of athleticism that makes you think he can get away with it, despite being listed at only 240 pounds. Yeah. So over his three year span, you know, most of his snaps, I got I'm looking at here. Um, he was outside to tackle for almost all of them. So last year, he was he only played seven snaps off the ball. Um, 18 over the tackle, 350 outside tackle. So, I mean, he's playing out there on the edge. And, mm-hmm. yeah, he uh, everything that you read on him pretty much says um, he's got that first step that he's going to be able to get around you and bend to get around you. They got him compared to uh, Yannick Ngakwe, which we kind of oh. were after last year. And that's kind of his game. He's not a right. power bull rush you, push your you know, tackle into the quarterback type of a guy. He's a quick move and I'm by you type of a person um so i mean it'd be exciting to have this type of a guy on the other side it you know that is quick enough that you know that the opposing line is really going to have to pay attention to and make sure that they handle him you know we've been so used to over the years that my now with miles garrett that they can just triple team him and get away with it because the rush on the other side olivier vernon kind of showed some strides there towards the end of last year before he ended up getting hurt of what that could be like, mm-hmm. like, man, you know, we're missing that. One thing that I do know, just going through analysis and reading, you know, these analysts uh, takes and everything that the younger you have your, call it a breakout, you know, campaign, or you start to break out in college, the younger your age, the more that translates to NFL success. This guy has obviously had a breakout in college. He's 20 years old. He'll be 20 years old at the draft. He won't be 21 until June. Yep. So, I mean, he's a young guy. And coming so, into the league. And we don't have to, and not like he might go before 26, but there's a chance he might slip to us. We're not at breaking 26. the bank if we yeah, got to move up. We could up just to get take him. him at 26 or, or 20 or three top, yeah. or two yeah. or something. Yeah. yeah. One thing that concerns me it says one year wonder that it was almost always fresh, didn't play more than 52 snaps in any game. Do we want a guy who's not going to play, who's only going to play 70% of the snaps, 50% of the snaps? And we got, we got, uh, you know, Porter Gus and stuff ready to go. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Well, for rotating with Tack, McKinley, Porter Gustin, I don't know. I guess. And, and, you know, in, but it's, you know, if he's going to be a pass rush specialist, then, you know, maybe we only need him on 50 snaps. You know, third downs, big fourth downs. Yeah. Last couple minutes of the fourth quarter, that kind of stuff. So, yeah. I think that, yeah, I I get what you're saying, though. You, you know, when you're picking this guy, you're wanting a guy that's out there a majority of the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was sometimes, you know, kind of before maybe last year that we were kind of, at times that way with Miles Garrett, you know, to where we were like, hey, you know, and then last year he got COVID, and then you knew when he wasn't on the field. So oh, you yeah. want, you know, hopefully all that's fixed, and we don't got to worry about that he's only playing 60% of the snaps and not in there in the fourth quarter when we need him mm-hmm. type of things. Um, but, yeah, that would be a concern. I think that would be a concern as well to try to get him up to that speed. 